Hey guys, welcome to Nithi Define. My name is Saro and today we are going to discuss some very important news. So let's start. A 3D printer company in Italy has designed and printed 100 life-saving respirator valves in 24 hours for a hospital that had run out of them. The valve connects the patients in intensive care to breathing machine. In hospital in Brescia had 250 coronavirus patients in intensive care and the valves are designed to be used for a maximum of 8 hours at a time. The 3D printed version costs less than 1 euro, that is approximately 90 rupees, each to produce and the prototype took 3 hours to design. Next, scientists are developing a face mask produced using 3D printing that can test large group of people for coronavirus in 30 minutes. The unique approach could help curb the outbreak of the disease and enable mask screening that would determine if a person is infectious or not, even before symptoms are present. This low-cost mask, soon to be trialed at the University of Leicester in the UK, was originally developed for the swift diagnosis of tuberculosis (TB). Researchers say that the device has the potential to save millions of lives across the world every year through early decision of a range of serious respiratory infections and diseases. It uses a simple duck-billed face mask adopted using 3D printed strips that can trap exile microbes while the mask is worn for 30 minutes. Using the mask to screen for coronavirus could also allow very large group to be checked at once, potentially helping to curb the spread of the virus and preventing long stays in quarantine. Next, 20AM, a Dutch startup focused on architectural 3D printing, has unveiled its latest large-scale concrete 3D printer. The machine was developed and assembled at the company's research and development center in Nelson, days before being showcased on the screens at the 14th annual Big Five International Building and Construction Show in Dubai. 20's goal in its debut year was to develop a concrete 3D printer placed on a gantry-like structure capable of traveling 10 meters wide and 5 meters high, a typical 6-axis ABB robot fixed in place and has printing footprint of 42 meter cube. With the addition of elevation and translation, the 8-axis robot is capable of printing 181 meter cube. Finally, a 9th rotational axis brings the machine, the printing footprint, to 391 meter cube. The extensive reach of the concrete printer, coupled with its advanced articulation, enables elaborate shapes and artistic structures that would be otherwise impossible with conventional form work. Parametric CAD CAM software is directly linked to the machine with the shapes being guided by the algorithms. British engineering firm and metal 3D printer manufacturer Lenny Shaw has announced the production of two ocean turbine parts using additive manufacturing in partnership with the Nova Scotia Community College NSCC, in Canada. The components were manufactured for industrial design from Biome Renewables which specializes in designing wind turbines. Using metal additive manufacturing technology, Rene Shaw has helped to manufacture a power comb retrofit designed to co-rotate with a turbine's rotor and curved propellers to reduce drag. The advantage offered by metal additive manufacturing meant that the cost to produce the part was reduced by 80% compared to traditional techniques. The ocean turbine project was not our only great opportunity for us to work with one of our many Canadian customers. It was a chance for us to see how metal can improvise the efficiency of renewable sources, said the company representative. Researchers at the ETH have produced a gel from cellulose fibers and biodegradable nanoparticles that liquefies when pressed through the nozzle of 3D printer, but then quickly returns to its original shape. Their invention paves way for personalized biometrical implants. Tibet's team also tested how living cells behave in the carrier ink and found that some number of cells survive in the ink as they do outside. Beside on the fact that hydrophobic substances can be introduced into nanoparticles, a hydrophilic substances can be added to opaque phases with the cellulose fiber. The researchers demonstrated that their ink is also suitable for the development of novel drug delivery systems. Due to its suitability for use in the wide range of applications, calling their ink carrier for 3D printing universal is certainly not a overstatement. Belgian-based 3D printing company Aerosynth recently announced that it has accomplished something that previously eluded designers and engineers of metal additive manufacturing systems, successfully printing small objects as well as complex parts from two different types of metals. Multi-metal 3D printing is now a reality. The company printed a very simple dual metal objects in the form of small cubes. Apart from these simple geometric shapes, 
Everything also printed a more complex part. The accomplishment stretches back to 2018 when the company announced that it was going to develop a multi-powder addition manufacturing system. Aerosin's original goal was to develop an additive manufacturing system that was capable of printing in any material, though it did specify interest in selective powder-based polymer, sintering for industrial customers. Next, Cytomer, a subsidiary of French advanced material company Arkema, has partnered with OEO-based chemical startup Swirus to develop a new fast curing resin for 3D printing. The resins are based on the copolymerization of methylene manganate and methacrylates, which is said to enhance the speed of UV curing process. Research has demonstrated that methylene malonate comonomers can significantly enhance the UV cure rate of some methacrylate, according to Mark Holzer, Cyrus Vice President of Application Development. Cytomer specializes in the development of advanced photocurable resin solutions for 3D printing. It is also a global supplier of methyl acrylate monomers, oligomers and other specialty chemicals used in variety of market segments like coatings, graphic art, adhesives and more. Well, that was all that is happening around the world around 3D printing. Also guys, due to this deadly coronavirus out there, please stay at home and stay safe.